Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and we are actually getting ready to go out on our Saturday. Every Saturday, one of us, we take turns choosing who gets to pick where we're going out to eat. And then we might go see a movie. We're going to look at So I thought playing. I would come on here and one, I have on a foundation that I got last night. Actually, I just got a sample. It's that new Urban Decay Naked. And I believe she put me in 4.0. And of course, like always, I have to set everything with my Laura Mercier because I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm not complete unless I do. So I'll let you know how this wears. I had the whole bottle and they take returns, but I just asked her if I could get a sample just to, because I always hate taking stuff back, but it went on like a dream. I used the brush that they recommend with it and it was beautiful. It reminded me a lot of the old Chanel Pro Lemire. It went on so pretty and the coverage is really good. She said it was like a semi-matte. So um, that's what I have on. And then I also, I didn't bring it out here, but I also bought that Lorac Pro Palette. I probably would not have even looked at it or anything, but one of my favorite girls, Olivia, was back at Ulta. She had been gone for the summer and she was saying how much she liked it. And there was some really pretty colors in it. So today I used the purpley color just for a smoky eye. I like to do that every once in a while. And, um, but yesterday when I went to my post office box, I had a surprise package from Lou, Louise in the UK. And she, we send each other a lip products usually back, back and forth. And I had just sent her some lip liners like, um, the, the, Lancome. Let's see which one was that. Natural Mauve and Bronzel. Anyway, so she sent me a box of goodies and I am wearing one of the lip combinations, her favorite lip combination today. And I thought I would just share it with you and um, just for something fun. And so it's the Dior Linen Lip Liner. And then this is the lipstick and it's beautiful. It's the YSL Rouge Pure Couture number 45 Rose. Rose, and the second word is P-R-O-S-E, so I'm not sure, I'm not even going to dare to say it wrong, but it is a beautiful pink color. It's just gorgeous. And so I put that on, it's really light, and then this is what made it, is this Golden Gloss by YSL. I always forget just how beautiful these are. It's the um, number 53, let's see, Golden Pearl. It is just beautiful. And this is what I put over it. And it just made it. I mean, it just made the whole lip combination come to life. So that is just gorgeous. And then she sent me this Dior Addict. And I have never tried any one of these. It's number 260. It was hard for me to pick what to wear today. Rose Desirable. She has really good taste in lip products. It's one of these. And um, it's just a real pretty. I think I'm really going to like that. Let's watch it. Yeah, I'm going to like that. It's one of those good, natural, pinky colors that make your lips look real full and juicy. <laughs> and she sent me a bunch of other good stuff. This is something I was so excited to get. Um, she sent me some samples and a mirror. I mean, a, it's not a, I thought it was a mirror, but it's a real neat little, look at this, little um, notebook. Oh, that was so pretty. But this is something that I have wanted, and it was limited edition, and it was the, I'm not going to be able to read that, but it's the temp, MAC Orange Tempura or something like that. Yeah, Orange Tempura Gloss, and Tammy wears this a lot. And I put this on as soon as I got it yesterday in the car over my NARS Barbarella, and it was beautiful. Just a real creamy, peachy color. And just give me a real long, sweet note. And some tissues. I always sends good stuff in my purse. And let's see. She sent me a new little notebook, one of the moleskin notebooks a for new my lipstick. purse. And this is the Lacura Beauty. A beautiful nude pinky color. I say nude. Nude is such a vague thing because nude can be like the light colors or it can be, you know, my lips but better type thing. So anyway, that's that would be the my lips but better. My favorite stretchy bracelets. And they are so pretty. Look at all these colors. Matter of fact, 
today would be a good day for me to wear one of these. But with the cross and the, because I've got on my turquoise earrings, I'm going to wear that today. And another one, and just, I love them. Could wear them all together. Also sent me this gloss for the Lacura. I've gotten this before, and I don't know if it was from her or if it was somebody from Canada, but it's good. I've got she said that she sent me a bunch of lip liners that didn't work out for her, and they are just, they are either some of my favorites that I am tickled to have backups of, or ones that I've wanted to try and never have. So, like this one, Estee Lauder Spice. I have wanted to try that forever and just have never bought it. Um, let's see, and these are some of my favorites. Mac Soar, that is a beautiful one. This is a really good one for making your lips look full. I don't know what it is about some lip liners, just more than others do that, and that is one of them. Boldly Bare, that is a great one. This is the Chanel Nude. She said that it did not work for her, that it turned out, I believe she said too plummy, which I can kind of see that. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 2C. This is like probably my all-time favorite lip liner, and it is the Dior Terracotta. Uh, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Mocha, and Spice, and Whirl. So, Louise, I am very tickled and thankful to get your <laughs> lip liners. She was, she said something about sending me used lip liners. I don't care. I'll sharpen them, and they will be fine. Or actually, she had already sharpened them. So thank you so much, Louise. She's the one that also sent me the little earrings that I wear all the time. And so I have got some good stuff to send her. I always um, collect nude lipsticks and stuff to send her. So I'm gonna be right back with uh, another casual outfit of the day and let you go enjoy your Saturday. So today right I am wearing my Dexter t-shirt, which I wear all the time. I love it. It's really, I don't know, I love the t-shirt itself. And I love the colors, and of course I love that it's Dexter, but I just think it's a neat looking t-shirt. It's kind of vintage-y looking. And um, the Below the Belt brown belt, and then these are some of my favorite jeans. They are the, I believe they're Citizens, um, yeah, they're the Citizens of Humanity um, Morrison, and they're not made anymore. So. I believe me, I've tried to find okay. them. And for shoes, you guessed it, just my regular um, Gianni Beanie zip-up wedges. Not much of the shoes even show, but these are just like comfortable shoes and perfect to wear with um, outfits like And this. for accessories, I have on these earrings that I got years ago at Kohl's, and I just love them. They're kind of, kind of heavy, not really heavy compared to some of the other ones, but just a little bit. So they're the type that you just wear and then you pretty much take them out when you get home. But I love them because they're just, I don't know, they're turquoise and they're big, but they're just kind of so casual looking. They just add a little bit of color. And my hair, you guys, I know you get sick of hearing about my hair, but I have never ever not known what to do with my hair. And that's how I feel right now. So I am trying to just find like a comfort zone, something that a go-to hairstyle, and I just haven't been able to find it. So last night, I had to resort to watching my own videos <laughs> or going back through some of my own hair videos, and I'd gotten to the one where the Rusk Sensories um, leave-in conditioner, and so that's what I did last night, and it does, I've actually been using it a couple days because it does help your hair. See how it makes your hair so um, separated and full but smooth? And so I thought, well, I'm just going to do that. I'm not going to straighten it. I'm not going to curl it. I'm just going to round brush it and see what happens. And this is what happened. So you can see it does make it, you know, just have plenty of body. But I think if I can just get a couple more inches, then, you know, it will, I'll know what to do with it. And I have, you know, all these cowlicks around my head that make my hair just like want to boof up. And it's just a mess. So again, let me just say, I'm going to deal with this, and somebody had left me a comment that they thought that my diet had affected my mood. <laughs> Believe me, my diet hasn't affected my mood. Cutting my hair has affected my mood, and I know that's like a, a shallow thing. I know it is, and I am trying to fight it, but it is. It's just taken, it's just kind of like knocked me for a loop. And I just don't want to do, I am just trying my hardest to avoid extensions because I like them, they're fun, 
I think they're awesome. It's like, I can't really say anything bad about them. It's just, I don't really like having them in. I just enjoy, you know, just having nothing in my hair. It's kind of like the eyelash extensions. And I don't want to spend the money because it's a lot of money. Even the upkeep is a lot of money. And, um, but I'm not promising that I won't. I'm just going to try and try and try to make it. But the main thing I want to say is don't cut your hair. If you have long hair and you've always had long hair, don't cut it because it, is so much harder to do it is so much you have to fix it you really have to fix it whereas with long hair you don't really have to fix it i could go two or three days and just get up and go and um so when 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 there you go <laughs> but um so bridgie's asleep in her little basket and oh little bubba's asleep down there they're being good kitties today and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, and um, I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.